We should have read our story here and then answered the questions. Just like we've talked about before, whenever you're answering questions from a story, you want to make sure that you always have some kind of proof from the story to back up your answer. If you can't find proof or if it's not there, then it's probably not a very good answer. Let's start with question number one. What event happened before the beginning story? What event happened before the beginning story? We have A. Ari heard on the news there would be a meteor shower. B. Adam told Ari welcome back. C. Ari decided next time to wait for the meteor shower to pass. Or D. Children were starving on the planet Z. Heidi, which answer choice is the thing that happened before the beginning of the story? B. B. Adam told Ari welcome back. Yeah. In my story, right here, I see welcome back, greeted Adam. That happened in the story, and it happened before the beginning. No. No, it wouldn't happen before the beginning because it's part of my story. So I need something yeah. that happened before the story even started. What was going on before the story even started? Let's look at that beginning. Ari was an astronaut from the planet Z. She had just returned from her latest supply run to Z's outpost. What does this mean? She had just returned from her latest supply run. What does it mean if they tell us that she just returned? What does it mean if you say that you returned from something? Jada, what does it mean? That you came back. That you came back. Okay, so she just came back from her latest supply run. What's a supply run? What are supplies? I mean, what's what are supplies? Things you need. Things that you need. Okay, so she just came back from going to get supplies from the Space Station 4. Okay. So, she just came back. She was going to get things that people need. Let's see. She rubbed the outside of her space shuttle with a soft cloth to get rid of the space dust that always seemed to cling. Okay, so we know she was out getting supplies, things that people need. Kylie. Oh, um, I know the answer. Oh, what do you think the answer is? D. D. Children were starving on the planet Z. Okay. Because she ran to go get supplies. Okay, she went to go get supplies. Uh, let's see. Do they talk about anybody starving? Or anyone that needs food? Let's see, let's keep reading. Welcome back, greeted Adam. Adam was another astronaut in the space squadron. I heard you ran into a meteor shower while you were. Okay, so we know that on her way back, there was a meteor shower. Yes, replied Ari. We heard on the news that there would be a meteor shower in the vicinity, but I really wanted to get those supplies to the space station. Oh, okay. So, it, she says, I really wanted to get those supplies to the space station. 
So she wasn't taking the supplies to the planet. She was taking the supplies to the space station. So in answer choice D, children were starving on the planet Z. Did the kids on the planet need the supplies or did the kids on the space station need the supplies? Nakai? Space station. It was on the space station they needed the supplies. So there might have been kids starving. There might be kids needing the food. But it wasn't on the planet. It was on the space station. We said it can't be B because Adam tells her welcome back right here. And BD because the kids that needed the food were on the space station. So there's only two answer choices left. What happened before the beginning of the story? Ari heard on the news there would be a meteor shower, or Ari decided next time to wait for the meteor shower to pass. Kylie? Is it A? Hey, Ari heard on the news there would be a meteor shower. Do we see anything about her talking about the news? Can you find it for me? Does she say anywhere about hearing something on the news? I heard you ran into a meteor show while you were out there. Okay, it says, I heard you ran into a meteor shower. But this one says she heard on the news. So can we find something about the news in here? Does it talk about the news? Hiding? Uh, let me see. Found it. Oh, never mind. Riley, it's, found it? Um, yep. We heard on the news that there would be a meteor. Sh oh, wait. No. No, you're right. We heard on the news that there would be a meteor shower. So they told us that she was caught in the meteor shower before the story started, right? She had just gotten back. And it told us that she was wiping off the dust from her spaceship from the meteor shower and everything. And she told us that she had heard there was going to be a meteor shower. But then she says, I really wanted to get those supplies to the space station. So she knew it was going to happen. But she also knew that she had to still do this. And like when you have to get groceries, but it's raining outside, you still have to go to Albertsons or Walmart to go get groceries. Mm -hmm. So that would be a good answer choice. Answer oh. choice A. Ari heard on the news that there would be a meteor shower. <clears throat> Alright, sentence two. Or sorry, not sentence. Question. Question two. Which sentence shows that Ari is normally a safe pilot? Which sentence shows that Ari is normally a safe pilot? Heidi, what do you think? What sentence shows that normally she's safe? A. She rubs the outside of her spacesuit with a soft piece of clothing. Piece of cloth to get rid of the dust that gathered. Okay. How does that show that she's safe? Because she's not bringing dust into the earth or to the space station. Okay. If someone, let's say like you go outside to play hiding. You go outside to play and you get dust on your shoes. And then you come inside. There's dust on your shoes and now that dust is inside. Does that mean that you're being unsafe? No. No. It means that you're maybe being a little bit messy. Well, that shows us that she was a clean pilot. But I want something that shows that she's safe. Um. So let's look at the other answer choices. Adam was another astronaut in Ari's squadron. Does that show us that Ari is safe? That she does, she is very safe when she flies around? Just because there's another astronaut? No. Because just because someone else is there doesn't mean that they're being safe, right? C. I heard you ran into a meteor shower while you were out there. Does that show us that she's safe? 
that she's flying around in a meteor shower. That kind of sounds like the opposite, like she's being dangerous. Answer choice D. Next time, I'll wait for the meteor shower to pass. Does that show us that she's normally safe? Yeah, that's a smart decision for her. Next time, instead of going out when there's a meteor shower, maybe I'll, I'll wait until the meteor shower is over. That way it's safer for me to be out there. Now, taking care of her ship could mean that she is safe, but it could also mean that she just likes her ship to be nice and shiny. So it doesn't prove to us that she's being safe. This one shows us that normally she is. She's already thinking, okay, I shouldn't have done that. That was kind of dangerous, so I should wait next time till it's safer. It says it at the very bottom of it. Next time, I'll wait for the meteor shower to pass. Question three, the reader can tell that Adam blank. A will probably tell his commanding officer about Ari. Before I read the other ones, what's a commanding officer? Violet, what's a commanding officer? A commanding officer is like someone that I guess hired by the chief to, to hired by someone to um, teach someone something and they're in charge of you. That's not a bad explanation. Usually commanding officers we hear about like in the military. Commanding officer is like saying someone's boss. Your commanding officer is like your boss. Answer choice A says that we can probably tell that Adam will tell his boss about Ari. Answer choice B says that we can tell that Adam is not as good of a pilot as Ari. Answer choice C says we can tell that Adam is concerned about Ari's safety. What does concerned mean? They say that he is concerned for her safety. I mean, what does it mean to be concerned? Worried about somebody. To be worried, to be worried about her safety. Or, answer choice D, we can tell that Adam wishes that he had gone to the outpost that day. Who thinks they know the best answer choice? What can we tell about Adam in the story? Alexa, what do you think? A, B, C, or D? C. C is concerned about Ari's safety. Okay, what does Adam do or what does Adam say in the story that shows us that he's worried about her, that he wants her to be safe? That's true, Ari, but you need to be more careful. Ah, okay, so he tells her, that's true, Ari, but you need to be more careful. So he tells her that she was she was right that if they needed food they needed to get food there for him but he's telling her she also needs to be careful so that's something that somebody would say if they're worried about you right like if you were doing something unsafe at the house and mom or dad might see you and they might tell you stop and they tell you that you need to be more careful because they're worried about you being safe they don't want you to get hurt C is a good answer. They're concerned about Ari's safety. Okay. Question four. Question four can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Noah, make sure we're paying attention over here, not on our rulers, okay? What is the theme of this story? So a theme is something that, like a lesson the story is trying to tell you. What do you think is the lesson the story is trying to tell? What could the lesson be? Irene, what do you think? What lesson do you think this story is trying to tell? Uh, it's about an astronaut and a meteor shower. That's a good summary, but the theme is a lesson. So like those stories that at the end, it kind of tries to teach you 
how you should behave or how you should treat others or things like that. That's what the theme is. I know, I know. Okay, what do you think? The, 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 the theme is um to, to be careful in outer space. Do you think it's just outer space you have to be careful in? No. Uh, actually, yeah. So it's just outer space here on Earth. You can you can do whatever. It's fine. No. No. So what do you think it's what is? Uh, I don't know. I think we could take your theme and change it just a little bit, and we'll have a good one. Who can help her out? What's that little change we could make to Hiding's theme that might make it fit the story? Kylie. To always be careful. Okay, maybe to Anywhere. always be careful. Does anyone have a different yeah. thing, or do we like that one? Like if you're at home, school. Could be at home or school or anywhere, right? Mm-hmm. Alexa, you have a different idea? What do you think? To be careful wherever you are and wherever you go. Okay, to be careful wherever. Whether you're at home or you're traveling somewhere. Does anyone have a different idea? Bailey? Do the right thing first. Ah, do the right thing first. Okay. What was the right thing for her to do? For her to uh, get all of, or to get the supplies to the um, the station. That's a good one. And why does she need to get the supplies to the station? Um. I forgot. Who can help her out? Why does why does she need to get the supplies to the station? Haley, why is it important for her to get the supplies to the station? Um for safety, I think. No, not for safety. What were, we said supplies are things that you need, right? What was she taking? What were those supplies they needed? They really wanted to get those supplies to the space station. They were running out of fresh fruits and vegetables, and they have several children on board who needed that food. Oh, to feed the children. To feed the children, so they have food to eat. So, we have two really good themes, but I think, I think Bailey's theme might work a little bit better because even though it is important for us to be safe, she had to do something dangerous here, right? She had to go travel through the meteor sh through the meteor shower, even though she knew it was dangerous, but because she was trying to do the right thing, like Bailey said. So I think even though being safe would be a good a good theme, maybe for a different story, for this story, I think the theme might be. And how did you say it, Bailey? Say, do the right thing before, or, or how did you say it? I said it was, do the, uh, do the right thing first. Okay, do the right thing first. And our evidence was that even though they told us that it was dangerous to be out in the storm, she knew that she still had to get the supplies to the to people, right? She still had to bring them food. So we can say our evidence. She took the supplies even though it was dangerous. So even though she knew it was dangerous and even though she could have gotten hurt, she knew she had to do this. So I think that would be a good theme. The safety one would, would be really nice. The only problem is that she did something really unsafe in the story. So people might go, well, she did something unsafe and it was okay. So how come she can do something unsafe? But if the theme is to do the right thing first, then they go, oh, because even though it was dangerous, she still had to do the right thing. She couldn't go, oh, well, it's okay. They can wait until after it's done. She knew that they needed the food right away.
So I'll leave this up. That way, in case there's any mistakes on your page, you can go ahead and fix those.